In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the negative reciprocal. So let's begin by finding a reciprocal. Now, a reciprocal um, of, for example, two-thirds is literally the numerator and denominator switching places. In easier terms, you just flip the fraction. So it's going to be 3 over 2. The reciprocal for 4 fifths is simply 5 over 4. Uh, the reciprocal for 3 over 7 would be 7 over 3. And the reciprocal for 5 over 8 would be 8 over 5. Very straightforward and very simple. What happens when you get a whole number? For example, if we were to find the reciprocal of 2. Well, 2 doesn't have a denominator at this moment in time. Now, any whole number can have a denominator of 1. Since the denominator is the divisor, so what's 2 divided by 1? Well, the answer is 2. Uh, the number 3 as a fraction would be 3 over 1. What's 3 divided by 1 is 3. So, bearing that in mind, the reciprocal of 2 is actually 1 over 2. The reciprocal of 3 is simply 1 over 3. The reciprocal of 8 is 1 over 8. Now, bearing in mind, we are looking for the negative reciprocal. Okay, so this is indicating that it has to be the negative Okay, so what does it look like? Let's say, for instance, we had three quarters. We know the reciprocal is four thirds. If we are looking for the negative reciprocal, it simply means that it's going to be negative. Okay, so if we have six eighths, the reciprocal is eight sixths, and the negative reciprocal is minus eight sixths. Now, it may seem straightforward, but there is a little catch. What happens, for instance, if the reciprocal itself is a negative, so negative two-thirds? Well, we know that the reciprocal of two-thirds is three over two. And because the original fraction is a negative, it's the opposite. So now this becomes positive. Okay, so we are working backwards. If you think about it that way okay now if for example we are looking for the negative reciprocal of four fifths well we know the reciprocal is five over four and since the original here is a negative this has to be positive the same would apply for negative whole numbers so for example negative two its reciprocal is one half okay and it's going to stay positive because the original one is negative what about negative seven well its reciprocal is one over seven and it's going to stay as one over seven because the original was a negative now one of the rules is that the reciprocal and the negative reciprocal when multiplied together should equal minus one okay so the reciprocal multiplied by the i'm going to call it negative reciprocal should equal minus one so the reciprocal multiplied by the negative reciprocal should always equal minus one so let's have a look at the previous example negative two multiplied by one over two should equal negative one let's have a look at this now we have a problem here because this is a whole number. Now, it's easy to change that into a fraction. We just make the denominator as 1. So, negative 2 over 1 multiplied by 1 over 2. If we know your rule of multiplying fractions, you just multiply straight across. So, it's 2 times by 1 is 2. Uh, and 1 times by 2 is also 2. Don't forget the negative. Well, when you have the same number as the numerator and the denominator, it just equals 1. Keep the minus there and you get the final answer of minus 1. Uh, we'll use a fraction this time. 3 fifths, okay, its negative reciprocal is 
negative 5 thirds. Okay, so if we take the product of these two now and multiply them together, 3 fifths multiplied by negative 5 thirds, well, 3 times by 5 is 15, 5 times by 3 is 15, don't forget the negative, and that's going to equal negative 1. A final example now, so let's say we've got negative 1 eighth, its negative reciprocal is 8 over 1, which is simply 8. Okay, so if we look at this example, it's negative 1 eighth multiplied by its negative reciprocal, which is 8 over 1. And that's going to be 8 at the top and 8 at the bottom. And don't forget the negative, we get a final answer of negative 1.